mga painumdum para malikayan ang COVID-19. Una, ugasi ang mga kamot. Ikaduha, kung maubo, tabuni ang baba. Ikatulo, likayi ang pagkaputini, mata, irong ug baba. Kaupat, kung magawas, obsebra ang social distancing. Nikalima, stay at home. Purublig kita manampasan nini nga pandemya. Minsahe ti kang hadep at late, Aral TV, nanini nga stasyon. Scientist, welcome to Science 6, where your learning becomes fun and easy with Teacher Julie. Are you ready as I am for another day of fun and learning? Great! In today's new episode, you are going to learn about mixtures. Get your module, pen, and paper ready. Your ears and eyes steady. All set? Let's begin! Which of the following is a mixture? A. Blacks of wood B. Purified water C. Pinoy halo-halo D. Cheese powder The correct answer is letter C. Pinoy halo-halo Based on this picture, how will you define a mixture? If you say that a mixture is a combination of two or more substances mixed together, then, you are correct. Next, look at these pictures. Which of these are mixtures? A. Pinakbet B. Chili pepper C. A metal spoon D. A jar of assorted candies E. A Hawaiian pizza F. A liter of oil If your answers are A, D, and E, you are correct! Mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. A sachet of 3-in-1 coffee is a mixture that contains coffee powder, sugar, and powdered cream, thus making it heterogeneous. When hot water is poured into the mixture and stir it to blend, it becomes homogeneous mixture. What idea supports this occurrence? A. The components of mixtures cannot be identified when dissolved in hot water. B. The components of mixtures change in color when mixed with hot water. C. The components of mixtures turn into vapor when mixed with hot water. Letter D. The components of mixtures can still be separated even after being dissolved in hot water. The correct answer is letter A. The components of mixtures cannot be identified when dissolved in hot water. Based on this example, a sachet of 3-in-1 coffee is a mixture that contains coffee powder, sugar, and powdered cream. How can we describe heterogeneous mixtures? A heterogeneous mixture consists of two or more substances that are mixed together but not dissolved together. It can be separated into its original part, thus its composition is non-uniform. If we have the same answer, then you got it right! A pizza is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Why do you think it is classified as such? Awesome! It is a heterogeneous mixture because we can still see the ingredients mixed together. What is a homogeneous mixture? Homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is uniform throughout the mixture. Identify which of the following group of mixtures are homogeneous. A. Pepperoni pizza, toast salad, cupcake with sprinkles, B. Tea with honey, C. 
soda, water with salt. C. Concrete mix, garden soil, fertilizer. D. Fruit salad, spaghetti, menudo. The correct answer is letter B. Tea with honey, soda, and water with salt. Which is true about heterogeneous mixtures? A. Composition of mixtures is uniform all throughout. B. Composition of mixtures can still be easily identified and separated. C. Composition of mixtures can be easily dissolved in hot water. Letter D. None of the options. If your answer is letter B, you are absolutely correct. Look at the two pictures. Compare the arrangement of the two particles of mixtures. Identify which is homogeneous and which is heterogeneous. Are you ready? Particles that are distributed non-uniformly is heterogeneous. Particles that are distributed uniformly is homogeneous. How are you doing so far? I know you are doing well in our activities. Here's more. Can you name three mixtures that you can find in your kitchen? Hmm. Aha! Fried rice, sinigang, and orange juice. Awesome! Now you know that these are all mixtures. Who loves Pinoy Halo Halo? Most of us, right? These summer refreshing treats is just so sweet and yummy. Who can say no? Can you name the components of these mixtures used in making Pinoy Halo Halo? Do we have the same answers? Crushed ice? Milk, beans, banana, purple yam, mangoes, leche flan, buco strings, and other sweet ingredients. Awesome! Well done! Do you know how these foods are prepared in such a way that various ingredients are mixed to make it delicious and healthy? Just like the different ingredients combined together to form the food we eat. The combination of several components produces useful products that can be utilized and consumed for our advantage. Do you love eating fruit salad? Can you name the ingredients in making it? Pineapple, watermelon, apple, mango, and creamer. These are the ingredients that can be used in making a fruit salad. How about a glass of milk? Can you tell me what a glass of milk is composed of? Very good! A glass of milk is composed of milk powder, sugar, and hot water. Fruit salad, milk, Pinoy Halo Halo, Coffee are some examples of mixtures. Mixtures consist of two or more substances that are mixed but not chemically joined together, meaning a chemical reaction has not taken place. Mixtures can be easily separated and the substances in the mixture keep their original properties. Look at the picture that will be flashed on your TV screen. What is it? Correct! A glass of lemon juice. What color do you see inside the glass? Yellow? Good! Do you see any other color than yellow? There's none, right? Can you name the ingredients used in making a lemon juice? Correct! We have lemon, sugar or honey, and water. Can you still see the sugar in the juice? No, you can't. That is an example of a homogeneous mixture. 
A homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is uniform throughout the mixture. Another example of a uniform or homogeneous mixture is coffee. The mixture of coffee, milk, sugar, and hot water blend together. The mixture itself takes one same form. Now, take a look at the second picture. What do you see? Yes, it is a pizza. Can you still name the ingredients used in this pizza? Correct! It has cheese, meat, bits of pineapple, mushrooms, sliced onion, pepper, and tomato sauce placed on top of the dough. Since we can still name the ingredients used in the pizza, just by looking at it, the composition of these ingredients do not blend together. A pizza is considered a heterogeneous mixture. A heterogeneous mixture consists of two or more substances that are mixed together, but not dissolved together. It can be separated into its original parts. Cereal in milk is a great example of a heterogeneous mixture. It consists of a solid cereal in liquid milk. Again, let us recall what we have learned. What is a mixture? Mixture is a combination of two or more different substances that are physically combined with each other. What are the two types of mixtures? Homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. What mixture appears uniform all throughout? Homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture? Correct! Homogeneous mixture. What mixture appears non-uniform or not evenly mixed or spread? Homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture? Correct! Heterogeneous mixture. Now, let us identify mixtures as homogeneous or heterogeneous. Number 1. Lotion The correct answer is homogeneous. Number 2. Toast salad The correct answer is heterogeneous. Number 3. Mixed coins. The correct answer is heterogeneous. Number four, perfume. The correct answer is homogeneous. Number five, fried rice. The correct answer is heterogeneous. Here are some simple experiments you can try at home. Watch this video. This time, let us check how far you have learned about mixtures. Look at the table that will be flashed on your TV screen. Identify mixtures as homogeneous or heterogeneous. Place the mixture in the right column if it is homogeneous. On the left, if heterogeneous. Number 1. A plate of spaghetti. Number 2. A bowl of sinigang. Number 3. A cup of tea. Number 4. A glass of soda. Number 5. A jar of assorted candies. Number 6. A bouquet of flowers. 
Number seven, a bottle of lotion. Number eight, salt dissolved in water. Number nine, honey syrup mixed with water. Number 10, a clubhouse sandwich. How many correct answers did you get? If you got 10, excellent! If you got 8 or 9, very good! If you got 5 to 7, good! 4 and below, cheer up! You can study again this lesson! Today, we learned that mixtures are the combination of two or more substances that can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Homogeneous mixtures are uniform mixtures, while heterogeneous mixtures are non-uniform mixtures. Congratulations, young scientists! You just have reached the end of our session. You can now review this video through our YouTube channel. Search RLTV Depth and Later. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. I hope you had fun learning with me, where science is made easy with Teacher Julie. Oh, 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 oh,